Have you ever experienced what a real minute feels like a year? In the future world, prisoners will be imprisoned in a virtual world. A year here equals a minute in the real world. That means if a prisoner is sentenced to 60 years in prison, not only will he not die of old age, he will also experience 60 years of imprisonment. But when the sentence is completed and released, in the real world only one hour has passed, and there are no guards here. There are no other prisoners. It's even harder to die. Lisa was the first experimenter in this virtual prison. On her first day in the cell, she began organizing the contents of her cell. Just some mineral water and food, and a simple writing pad, and nothing else. Lisa decided to kill time by exercising. Then she started eating. Then she started practicing calligraphy. But as she practiced, the feeling of loneliness was so strong that Lisa broke down. But even this venting didn't make her feel any less lonely. By the next day, the virtual world reset again. All the items were refreshed. Even the positions of the items were the same as yesterday. Lisa had completely given up her struggle. She had fallen into a deep state of remorse. Lisa was a development engineer for the virtual prison. In order to test the effectiveness of the prison. She asked her boyfriend to help her test it. The program went haywire. Paul died in an accident. Law enforcement made a deal with Lisa that if she would serve a year in the virtual prison herself, then all charges against her would be dropped. Lisa had no choice but to agree. But now it's only the second day. Lisa was already losing her grip. Every minute in this world is longer than in the outside world. In order to make time pass faster, Lisa began to edit the program code. As a distraction, she would fantasize about talking to other people. And with a strong will, Lisa's last day came. The day she was supposed to be released from prison. But then a red light went on in the room. She thought she was about to be free. But then the system suddenly reset. It was day one all over again. Lisa was devastated. Then Lisa angrily smashed the cell until she was exhausted. But just as she gave up, but just as she was about to accept reality, suddenly a gust of wind blew in. The feeling of freedom forced Lisa to look for the source of the wind. She soon realized that her earlier smash had actually smashed a crack through the wall. Lisa was able to escape from the prison. But what she saw outside was a complete surprise. It was an empty warehouse. And there was a room full of food and water. The the amount of food and water was exactly what she needed for a year. Then she went into another room. Inside the whole set of monitoring system also let her instantly realize that she hadn't entered the virtual world at all. She had been imprisoned alive for a whole year. But then the security personnel outside the door spotted her. Lisa hurriedly grabbed her car keys and drove away from the place. Until this very moment, she still couldn't believe she'd been lied to. But what happened next was even harder for Lisa to accept. Lisa calmed down and thought about it. She realized it was a corporate conspiracy. Because she was against the prison program, the company was delayed in getting investors to invest in it. The executives used this method to kick her out. Now a year has passed. The prison project has long been firmly in place. She comes to the shopping mall and casually picks up a few low-profile clothes. There are company bulletin boards everywhere on the street. Lisa was furious. She went straight to the police to file a report. Police records say she disappeared a year ago, but immigration records clearly state she had been living in Italy for a year. She told the police about the secret room, but they didn't believe Lisa. The police couldn't stand Lisa's nagging. They agreed to go with Lisa to investigate, but the container had already disappeared. Choice but to find out the truth on her own. She quickly found her ex-colleagues. She learned the shocking news from Anna. Lisa's boyfriend was not dead. After talking to both of them, Lisa realized that the whole thing had been a huge hoax. Lisa completely figured out the truth of the matter. After she was tricked into going to jail, her collaborator immediately appropriated her virtual patents and successfully marketed the virtual reality system. All people had to do was put a nanodrop on their eyes. The virtual system immediately controls the brain to create all kinds of illusions and even experience all kinds of programs that weren't available before. But Sam had gotten carried away by the money. He applied this technology to the illegal industry as well. When Lisa learned the truth, she immediately decided to stop Sam's behavior. She and her boyfriend infiltrated Sam's company and retrieved the system template. Lisa then took Paul back to her father's house. The real developer of the virtual system was Lisa's father. But her father was aware of the system's horrors, so he stopped developing it. But Lisa wanted to use the system to save her brain-dead brother. The father and daughter had a disagreement. They haven't spoken since. But Lisa now understands the horror of her father's words. And during her year of captivity, her father was the only one who kept looking for her. Father and daughter finally reconciled their differences. Lisa then said she wanted to make one last attempt to save her brother. She updated the program code in the system. She went to the hospital and programmed her brother into the virtual system. But instead of waking her brother up, the virtual program caused her brother to convulse in pain. Lisa realized the reality. In order to prevent her brother from further suffering, she finally decided to cut off her brother's oxygen machine. Lisa then sat on the edge of the bed. But then Sam came up behind her. He said directly to Lisa. Lisa, after experiencing the beauty of the virtual world, is there anyone who wants to go back to the real world? Lisa's consciousness went fuzzy after hearing that. The real world and the virtual world were alternating in front of her eyes, and there were countless voices calling out to her. Lisa instantly realized she had been in the virtual world all along. She immediately looked for Sam's voice. Eventually Lisa managed to wake up in the real world.